So currently you have a main mm -hmm. and some side like background <laughs> characters. Some side. Of. Okay. Yeah, sure. How many background do you have? <laughs> I was just say like maybe four. So so five guys total right now. Somewhat. That yeah. you're seeing. Yeah. And and like hooking up with. Yeah. Okay. And do they they all know? Mm -mm. She belongs to the streets. Now see, if this was a man saying this, then all these women on the same panel would be trying to take the morality route. But see, but when they're doing it, we're just supposed to accept it and be okay with it. Even though it's a hell of a lot easier for them to sleep around than men. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So you I have not been back not even a week yet, man. And it's like the more I see videos like this and the more that I react, the more I wish I was just back in Colombia. Cause men seeing stuff like this is exactly why the passport bro movement is growing and exactly why men are leaving. And in this video I'm gonna be showing you some more clips that show exactly why this movement is growing. Cause men are tired of hypocrisy like this. On to the next clip mentality of women being able to finesse men wouldn't happen if men kept their standards high with the women they invest in. There's no perks for being a good woman in this day and age. There's no market for it. But you be a woman that doesn't show her body, does, isn't out in the club, doesn't get drunk, doesn't do this, doesn't dance, doesn't do all of these things. Your inbox is like tumbleweed. Tumble that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what your inbox will look like. If the standards of promiscuity were like, you're promiscuous, I ain't putting a penny in you, there, there would be no finessing. It would be impossible. But if strippers are making 10K a night, if girls with OnlyFans are making 10K a day, if a girl posts a thirst trap and gets blown out to Dubai, where are we going to direct women? You must unlearn what you have learned. Now, I've done a reaction to one of her videos before. It seems like after being on a few male podcasts, including Pearls, she's starting to switch back over. And this right here, this is her like new argument and it was extremely disingenuous. Cause notice that she mentioned getting flown out and investing in only f so essentially what you're doing is you're applying your your ideals based upon the higher caliber of guys which i'm assuming that's what she's referring to she's not referring to the everyday average man because if she was then she would know that those men those are not the those are not the guys that are investing in and and uh, I want I got to use my words wisely. Those are not the men that are um, drooling over these women that you're referring to. Those are not the men that are that are only hollering at these women if they showing off or they're being promiscuous. Because if that were true, the passport bro movement wouldn't even exist. You stupid. Like then I just do a video about debunking that guy that was saying, oh man, it's Sodom and Gomorrah all over again in the U.S. Exactly. That's exactly why the passport bro movement exists because men are tired of it. And and this is another reason why her argument is disingenuous because men that want women that are not promiscuous, they're being shamed for it. Passport bros, we're being shamed for it because we don't want to deal with the um promiscuity. We're being shamed for it. So again, a very disingenuous argument from this woman. Those the reason why those women do that is because they're looking for a certain a certain type of man. And the men that are going after those women, I'm like most of those men, they don't even want those women. They don't they most of those men, those women don't even want. That's very disingenuous, man. Matter of fact, I'ma make sure I think she got a YouTube page. I'ma tag her and put her on on the thumbnail just for that, man. Cause I'm like, cause when I saw this clip, that kind of pissed me off. That's very disingenuous. On to the next clip. Dating culture in Korea as a foreigner. Guy friends. So that's the conversation that's going on all over America is like, you're insecure about my guy friends. So I should be allowed to have guy friends. In Korea, it's the opposite. Like, you should not make me feel insecure. And actually, yeah. as they say in Korea, if your guy friends, like, is a gender friend, um, if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, they should not be contacting you anyway because they know that you have your boyfriend or girlfriend might not be happy. Sometimes you have to shut off all your guy friends. Americans 
going to go nuts over that. <laughs> I love really? That. Yeah. But do the guy friends understand? Still friends are meant to be okay. Like what you're saying is ringing true, and so many of them are going to hear that and be like, I wish this was more part of our day See, which proves my point from the previous clip. Now, how much you want to bet the woman from the previous clip, she's the type of chick that should, oh, men should be okay with um, me having male friends. Get the French toast out of here. I'm like, since, since you such a good girl, I swear, man, you kill me. I'm talking about some, yo, yo, yo my, your DMs are tumbleweeds. Y'all saw what that woman looked like. Ain't no way in hell that woman DMs tumbleweeds. Got the cap. Let's keep it moving, man. Another one, thank you. 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 Now, I'm gonna play that again because this is though those were multiple stories of kids, you know, going through it because somebody at the school found out that their parents had OnlyFans. I'm gonna play that one more time for you guys. Another one, thank you. 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 One more time, I'm gonna read them off real quick. Another one, thank you. U.S. mom claims son suspended from school over OnlyFans page. A mother has been left humiliated after her seven-year-old son was suspended from school due to her racy side job. Another one, thank you. Well, let me run that back because apparently we only apparently these are the only type type of chick she claimed we want a school suspended a child because his mother has an OnlyFans account that is NSFW okay thank you then look Florida mom says she's been banned from volunteering at school because she's an OnlyFans nobody has the right to judge what other people do for a living I feel judged and so isolated Victoria Tree says we do not care Right, because men right, because men don't have standards. But see, this is what happened when men have standards. We get shamed like this. But see, she ain't wanna speak on that part. Another one, thank you. California OnlyFans mom, Crystal Jackson says her kids were expelled from school. Right? Alright, let's keep it moving. Another one, thank you. OnlyFans model claims her son was suspended from school because of her OnlyFans account. Interesting, and I don't agree with it. If you have kids, you shouldn't be an OnlyFans adult film or new model because your kids may find it someday, but that's a personal choice. I don't agree with the school. And men that are trying to find good women don't agree with it either, but we're the ones that get shamed for not agreeing with it. But you want to know what? I think I know what it really is. The men that don't agree with this kind of behavior the men that are looking for good women you you're, you're probably not even checking for those men you're probably not even checking for those men that's what it real that's what it really is another one thank you mom who makes 150k a month from OnlyFans says Catholic school expelled her three sons because of her page see what I mean and notice none of those stories mention anything about the fathers all right let's keep it moving so tell me more about yourself. So for starters, I cook. Okay, chef. My mama raised me right, so I clean. Okay. And I am extremely loyal, if I do say so myself. I appreciate the same, mm. you know? <laughs> My friend group is not full of guys that just want, you know, and... Oh, oh no, you... <laughs> Focus right here. Focus right here. I got what you need. I got what you need. Listen, <clears throat> uh, I like to travel. I'm well-traveled. I'm well-cultured. Um, listen... Uh, you know what? You, you're you're great. Uh, you're so good. Um, but um, I'll go. I would see. That's what the problem is. You don't see what's good right in front of you. Yeah, Mrs. Um, Sadio Psychology, whatever that woman's name is. Yeah, you ain't gonna speak on this. You ain't gonna speak on that. Let's keep it moving, man. Yeah. No, if you don't want kids, or you don't want to get married, or you don't shit like that, why do I need a man? I don't need a man. You know, later on in life, statistically, when people, when women reach a certain age, yeah, they want a family and they want to settle down most no, of the yeah, time. Yeah, but I don't. That means they women. need. Yeah? I You're don't. 20 years old. Yeah, but I've always. In another the same. 20 years, Oi, yeah. Oi, Oi, no. Oi, this is the new generation. 
This is what they want. Yeah, this is the res Tank, end result right? of what they want. It's depopulation. Yeah, she don't want no man. Right. She don't want no kids. She don't want nothing but money and independent and all of this. That is the whole depopulation of everything. So, Miss um, Sapio, Sapio, Psychology, whatever your name is, what about that? What about that? What is that? The so-called good men, they can't control that. They can't do nothing about that. And that's Generation Z. Men that are in their 30s that want something serious and want to have children, that's what they have to choose from. Otherwise, they're going to have to risk dating a little bit older and potentially dealing with geriatric pregnancy. And who really, and what man wants to go through that? See, these women need to quit being disingenuous with their arguments and just trying to point the finger at the men. Because the men that y'all are talking about is a minority of men. Let's keep it moving. I got some more. There are single women with no kids who are college educated. Yeah. And they are having trouble finding mates um, because they're like, I'm at this level. Yes. And I'm looking for someone to elevate me and I'm not finding a lot of candidates that are going to meet me or improve me. And I think that is what a lot of people are missing. I think and that's an excuse though. There are educated women out there who can who can find good men, but the real question is what they're not gonna tell you is how many successful men that are on their level are above their level that they passed off for silly reasons. That's true. See, that's something they're not gonna tell yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. See, that's Absolutely. what we don't know. We just hear, to the I can't ready. find nobody, I can't find nobody. But no, what did you, you do to them. run him off? Like, yeah, that's the but, but you're not going to hear, right, but you're not going to hear how many of those good successful good dudes man is did you turn down? How many did you not give your time to? Not the cap. Now, y'all saw that little clip because I reacted to this video a while ago. The same woman who over here, they're not meeting people on my level. And then they played that old clip of her saying, I don't think being a good man is enough. You can't make this shit up. See, this is why I'm going ham on Shorty from that second clip, man. Because that was a very, very disingenuous argument. Very disingenuous argument. And this is why the Passport Bro movement is growing. This is why men are leaving. We're tired of this hypocrisy. We're tired of it. And you know what, since it's always the man's fault, we'll just leave. The more of us leave, the less men y'all got y'all y'all gonna have to point the finger at. Now I know somebody gonna watch this and be like, man, I, I wrong, wrong, man. He because somebody already said it in the comments, like, man, Rome ain't been the same since he came back. I'm like, yeah, because now that I've seen what women are like outside of this country, and then I come back and I'm doing this reactions, I'm just thinking to myself, like, damn. Now, now that I've seen both sides, now I see why guys don't want to deal with this anymore. Because I didn't see this when I was in Colombia. Fellas, get your passports and get the hell out of here. Seriously, get the hell out of here. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Traveling Vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler link is in the description and pinned in the comments. And my latest video will be at the end of this video. So until the next video, you guys, deuces.